Opinion Can Jonathan beat Tenumbu in 2023 as Lealis put pressure on him to contest for president? Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Ahead of its 2023 presidential election, Lealis of Good Lord Jonathan have continued to mount pressure on him to join the presidential race. According to Venga reports, Men, women, and young stars they asked to good luck Jonathan on Friday stormed the Abuja private office of the former president, urging him to throw his hat into the ring for the 2023 presidency. The Zabata took correct posters and leaflets demanding that Jonathan join the race alleged that he has a right man to salvage the nation from the shackles of poverty and insecurity. This is coming a day after the Nigerian Young Professionals in Diaspora, NYPD, told Jonathan to declare for presidency or risks being sued in one week. In my opinion, the fact that Goodluck Jonathan has not come to state categorically that he won't contest for 23 presidency is a major reason why he should not be ruled out of the presidential race. Also, the pressure being mounted on him by his supporters, Jonathan may heed their demands and join the race before the deadline. Recall that Bola Atanambo, Pito B, Yaya Bilo, Chris Ngegi, Yemi Osibanjo, and several other presidential aspirants joined the presidential race after their teaming supporters split up with them to do so. In the likely event that Gulo Jonathan decides to contest for the presidency and somehow emerges as the 23 flag bearer of his party, the People's Democratic Party, chances are he will lock horns with Bola Atanambo the national leader of the All Progressive Congress APC, who is regarded as the favorite to clinch the presidential ticket of the APC. Tenembu, who was widely credited for APC and Buhari's victory in the 2015 presidential election, undoubtedly has an impressive political capital in Nigeria. However, many electorates are displeased with the APC for failing to deliver the change they promised. Lord Jonathan failed to leverage his incumbent advantage in 2015 when he lost his presidential election to Buhari. However, some electorates have argued that Jonathan remains one of the best Nigerian presidents, and during his tenure, food and other things, commodities, were relatively cheap. For this reason, he may defeat Tenembu and the APC if they meet in 2023. What is your opinion on this? My opinion on this one is simple. It is that this particular man has not come out to declare. And all these are just mere thoughts for those who want to want to do gymnastic on top of this post. And of course, whether he comes out to my opinion is uncle should not come out. He should maintain his elder statement status, that person that Nigerians look up to. I think his status has won him a lot of things. His status has paved way for him. He's a typical example of, you know, it's a typical example of everything is everything is not in the bull skin. Everything is not, you know, violence. Go slow and steady. I have paved it for him. Look at him. He had is like almost every of his, you know, um blessed achievement from when he was the VC, from VC, you know, to the vice president. It's like everything is just going well for him. And of course, he came in with his very calm nature, though some people still think that he, he did not do well. But at least he, in some places, you cannot, you cannot dispute that fact. So, Uncle, please, in my own opinion, remain the elder statesman that you are. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.